hello friends welcome to commerce and ms excel hub so today we'll be covering how to use vlookup in excel okay this vlookup function is available under formula section lookup and references you can see vlookup okay so v means vertical so vertical means this and horizontal means this so you have hlookup also we'll be seeing it in further videos then to begin with so here we have two tables one table one which contains employee id employee name and basic salary of each employee okay and table two is our task table where we are going to apply our vlookup so in this table two you have employee id and you should get the basic salary and the donation of five percent of their basic salary so these are the employees who decided to give five percent of their basic salary as donation and the net salary so after deducting from the basic salary the donation amount uh, will be getting the net salary so here already the formulas are already applied okay so in order to get this basic salary we need to use vlookup okay so to begin with vlookup we should be remembering that there should be a common point between the two sources so in this case for the table 1 and table 2 both the tables has a common source as employee id okay common data point as employee id okay then um, with the help of this common data point we can extract employee name from table 1 to table 2 or and also we can extract basic salary from table 1 to table 2 and vice versa if you want to get a donation amount to be appeared in column d for the list of the employees you can do back uh, vlookup also and it will extract the donations amount to here to the table one so you can get the information from table one to table two and also re reverse you if you want to get the information from table two to table one also possible as employee id as one of one common point for both the tables okay then we will start with vlookup now we will try to get basic salary from main table 1 to table 2 then I have first thing you need to remember that uh, uh, we should be selecting the lookup value so lookup value will be your common element between the two tables so this is employee id ok g10 and I have selected so here you have four, four arguments in this particular formula first one is lookup value second one is table array third one is column index and fourth one is your range lookup so lookup value will be the common point between these two tables so i have selected the employee id then you have table array table array will be the from where you want to attract uh, extract this data so in this case the table one is your uh, main uh, data so from there you want to extract the basic salary that's the reason you have to select that uh, main, table one um, data okay so i will select from employee id employee name basic salary till down okay. that. now you need to do f4 so that the range will be fixed there won't be any change in range once you are done with this formula you can copy paste to remaining all other employees also so that there won't be any change in range that will help us and it will avoid any incorrect values as well okay then yeah B one more thing while selecting table array you should ensure that the first column always should be your table lookup value column and uh, the required basic salary column can be anything there won't be any, there won't be any condition for uh, required columns but the first column should be your lookup value column suppose you have some other column before to employee is you say there is a list of company's name and you have selected from the company name employee id employee name and basic salary entire range you have selected in those cases you will be getting a uh, value error again uh, in, in by error in vlookup formula so to avoid it what is your lookup value in the for that column only you have to select so in this case the employee id is a lookup value so we should be uh, ensuring that we have selected the employee id as a first column so i am st i have started my uh, table array selection from a a22 to uh, c c40 c42 like this you have to ensure that first column which you have selected in table array should match with your lookup lookup value okay then f4 
then yeah table array is done then we'll move on to the column index so column index should be uh, your position of your required column so my required column is basic salary in this case the position from your lookup value column lookup value column is employee id so the position from here to here is if you count start counting from here one two three so basic salary is in third position so i want I want to get basic salary so I am giving 3 suppose if you want to get employee name then you should give 2 so from employee ID the position of employee name is in second position so employee ID is treated as one always treated as one so whatever the lookup column lookup uh, value you will be giving that column always treated as column number one okay then second column will be treated as column number two like that so on it will be moving so that's the reason i was uh, referring that in table array you should always be selecting uh, what is your lookup value that column only should be the first column okay because ref with respect to that column we are going to give our number okay then column three then fourth argument okay the fourth argument is false always you should give false to do exact match approximate match will also be helpful but uh, on an accounting point of view and in normal day-to-day -day work it should be always false and for do, to do a statistical and to calculate like uh, probability analysis and some kind of data analytics uh, true will be used uh, to get an approximate match not for exact match in those cases they will be using this approximate matches but um, it is uh, good to use false for having a better and correct results okay have written the false and the vlookup formula is completed okay so the employee id is one has salary of 50000 and so i just i will do con control d so that it will be applied for all other employees and employee 14 has 13 30263 and employee 25 as 23 351 23 351 so everything is updated correctly um, so one of the limitation in vlookup is uh, suppose if you have duplicate data in your main data suppose in this case table 2 is getting information from table 1 in table 1 you have duplicate data like employee id 1 is repeating for three times so, okay this is repeating for three times so it will only select the first one whichever comes first it's going to take that value if the second and third it will be not uh, checking only it, the first one will be uh, checked and the same value will be applied okay that is one of the drawback in uh, vlookup and uh, the other one is that it you should be always remember that this employee id column should be uh, on the left side only not uh, with regard to lookup value so lookup value column always should be on the left and the lookup uh, required column value always should be right so in this case employee id should be always left to the basic salary employee id cannot be on d column it cannot be on the right side of your basic salary and these are the two limitations in uh, vlookup okay friends so we are done with this vlookup so if you have any queries and questions with regard to vlookup you can please post in comment section and also we have another thing from this video onwards i will be sharing you the practice uh, sheet as well so i will be adding another sheet which contains a practice exercise so that you can practice so in this case I have you know, taken from this uh, employee data and i have created two tasks so that you can practice these two tasks and if you have any questions you can post it in comments so here you need to get the employee name with the help of vlookup and here you need to get the basic salary of this particular list of the employees with the help of vlookup okay and also for the verification purpose i have given the answers as well so i have removed the formula and i have only given the values so once you are done with this formula you can cross check with this answers how far you have learned this vlookup also you can check by yourself and verify yourself okay yes friends so Thanks friends, thanks for watching this video. You can share uh, this video and subscribe to my channel.